So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and basically reset your iPad or reset a iPad from the previous owner. Let's say you just went through and bought some sort of iPad from somebody, but now that particular iPad says it's you know locked to a previous owner or something along those lines. Well, the main way to go and fix this type of problem is to go through and to basically just understand that your particular iPad and your particular device, if it's linked to the previous owner, you will have to contact that previous owner and let them know that your device that you've bought from them or whatever is basically still attached to their account. Then what you can do is you can send them this video because they're going to have to go inside of their Apple ID and their, inside of their Apple account in order to actually remove it. So what they can do here is they can go through and make their way over into either like the Find My Application or into some sort of Apple ID. They can also sign into iCloud.com. And all they're going to want to do is you want to open up iCloud.com or Find My and open up the Find My portion of that particular account. Now, when they do that, what's going to happen is they might get into these types of prompts. What they want to do is they want to click on the devices panel that they'll have right here. So they're going to have a list of all the different types of devices that they basically have as of this point. And what they're going to want to do is they want to find that iPad. So in this case, you can see right here, I have this type of iPad right here. All they're going to want to do is find that iPad with that type of information, click on it, and they want to click on either remove this device from their account or delete this device, depending on which one they have that shows up. There should be like a remove this device from iCloud account. If they see that remove this device option, they want to go and tap on it and they want to go ahead and remove that device from their iCloud account. So once they do that, it'll go ahead and be removed and then you can use this iPad whichever way you want to as at that point. So. It really is that basic. It's a super basic process, and that's essentially how you do it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.